Now head over to Nigeria where Uche Okorongo is standing by with our Nigerian market update. Now Uche, we know that Adana Airline's license has been suspended at this stage. Well, that's indefinitely. What are news at this stage? Well, actually, Moshudu, it's pretty much what you said. Dana's uh, airline's operation license has been withdrawn by the government, and of course, their flights have been grounded as well. The government did come out saying that this will be indefinitely, of course, for safety and precautionary reasons. Now, aviation analysts are saying that this is a good move, of course, but it's a belated move mm -hmm. uh, because there have been a lot of uh, uh, air crashes like this in the past, uh, and of course, regulatory lapses, and, and basically, there have been a lot of red flags uh, when it comes to air safety here in Nigeria. And of course, they feel the government failed to address uh, what they call a numerous uh, uh, warning signs on airlines and aviation sector safety standards. Mashudo. Is there any news on how they will actually compensate all those that were on board? Or their well, families? Actually, yes, um, news. Yes, news came out yesterday that according to the Montreal uh, Convention, Dana Air is required to pay about two twenty billion dollars uh, back to uh, in compensation to the families. Of course, we're waiting to hear from their insurance. Uh, they they are actually insured by a group of uh, insurers, uh, so we're hating, waiting to hear from them exactly what they're going to do in terms of compensation. Dana Air, however, did release a statement saying that they were going to comp compensate families. We're not so sure about the exact figure that families should expect, uh, expect yet. Dana Air hasn't been clear about that yet. Well, let's move on to the market now. The, the uh, NSC closed in negative territory yesterday. Are we likely to see that trend continuing in the session? Well, actually, analysts do say that we are going to see that this trend continue on to until today. Uh, our banking index is not performing so well. We've seen it uh, down about 1.16 percent. So, of course, uh, with me in the studio, of course, Mashudu, to give us a better picture of this is Mukhtar Mohammed, an analyst with Asher Investments. Welcome to the studio, uh, Mukhtar. Now, like you heard, uh, Mashudu just act, uh, uh, ask our index is down 0.70 uh, percent. We also saw market cap depreciating about 0.70 percent uh, or point seventy uh, seven seven zero percent now it seems to be the trend in the past few weeks uh, uh, as a trade on the floor what are you what what's your take on this are investors losing confidence or are we still seeing them uh, sort of playing cautionary uh, cautionary uh, yeah. play yeah investor confidence is low a little I, I, and again like you said they're being cautious and uh, what they are looking at they're looking at some of this equity will still go down they're looking at good entry point for some of this um, equity and you know that some of this equity are actually selling at the highest level they have ever sold for a very so for a very long time so with that that is why investors are um, a little bit um, skeptic and waiting that some of this equity will go down and if you look at the index you see stocks like um, UBA that have been on the up or down GTB is also down fourth bank is also down and again investors are looking at even assets bank too but when you look at mostly when you look at gtb when you look at assets bank those are banks that give interim dividends so any moment from now their their their, their interim report will be expected at least before the end of um, july so some investors are saying looking at the bottom price of that stock to go in and that will help it coming in I think it's all about what 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 strategy any investor is trying to look at at the moment. But when you look at the fundamentals of the equity, you see no reason why they should be going down. But at the moment, they are going down. Mm, now you did talk about the strategy investors should be taking at the moment, and uh, people, uh, analysts are saying that the banking sector is a good place uh, to be right now. But. I, I mean, I have to ask, so far we're not seeing such a good p performance. I mean, First Bank, we did see volumes up, but value down. In fact, majority of banking stocks did lose uh, a value yesterday, and some just plain remain flat. So is this just a reflection of investors, of course, continuing to trade with caution? What's happening? Because analysts do say the banking sector is a, is a place to go, but it's not performing so well. Well, you know, the market is very rational. The market doesn't go with um, some of the, the year stick that you're looking at. But when you look at the fundamentals of First Bank, when you look at um, the first quarter result, you look at their projection, you say there's no how First Bank should be selling this low. When you look at GTB, when you look at Zenit, when you even look at UBA projection, when you look at all these things, there's no reason why they should be selling this low. But then again, when you look at an investor, an investor is thinking of how much 
profit you will be able to make. You're mostly the traders, mostly the brokers. They are not looking at. They are looking at. Let the price. The, the lower the price, the better for them. So and when you see this, that's to tell you when there's volume in in, in first bank and the value down to for, that tells you that that stock is very good. Some people see the rate that at eleven um, thirty. It's, it's, it's still a bargain price. Some say, no, it will still go down. So when you, the traders are just playing on, 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 on each other's mindset, looking at who, who goes down first. If you look at the first time when first bank started trading yesterday, at a point it was trading for 11.51, it went to 11.52 towards the end. It went, then just the same thing with UB. UB at the point was trading for 3.97 before it closed at 3.73. Uh, so you could see everybody is trying to see where, where it can reasonably get um, a good bargain. To make more 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 returns. Is that the same case with GT Bank? Because I mean, we did see uh, investors, of course, rushing for that stock last week. Volumes were really up in in about forty seven percent in GTB. Yes, with GTB, GTB has created a brand and a name for itself. GTB is very consistent with the release of result. And when you look at the, the price of GTB, it went to its peak like it has never been for about two two three years. So definitely, then you could see in BT, you could see profit taking on some of all these things. People are already selling at oh, some people. Bought GTB at, at as low as 12 to 13. They are saying, look, let me sell it off now that it was about 15 or, or thereabout. Let me hold on my money. I believe it will come down and I'll go in, in, in again. So that will make me have more return. Some people are doing what we call comparency analysis. Some people are doing, we're just trying to see a good price on how to get into these banks. I, I for one, think the banking stock, the lower they are, the better they are for investors and the more returns investors will have if they are able to take position in that. But I want to talk about the brewery sector, Mukhtar. We saw Nigerian breweries losing about 70 basis points. It was it actually dropped 70 basis points. Guinness also closing flat. What exactly is happening in that sector? <laughs> well, if, if, if you look at the brewery sector, you see there's just two war going on there, Nigeria Brewery and Guinness. And then when you look at the returns of Nigerian Brewery in terms of um, in terms of uh, um, um, a return on equity, in terms of dividend payout, you, you, you begin to wonder why a stock that is selling as high as 100 and something naira is paying dividend as low as uh, 3 naira of the last time they paid 3 naira and 50 cobalt there about. And then Guinness, when you look at Guinness, Guinness is paying 7 naira and selling that at about 200. Naira. So sometimes investors are like, now there are more opportunity in other areas than in those areas. You're looking at the banking sector equity that are down, you're looking at the conglomerate that are down, you're saying, look, it, Instead of being here where the dividend payout is, so that's why you're saying that that price keep going down because people are, are, are trying to trade, 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 trade most of their holdings that they have in Nigeria mm. to be able to take position in most of this penny stock, which they believe at the end of the year, in the two, three, four months from now, they should be, we will be able to give them a hundred percent return compared okay. to a Nigeria brew. We cannot move from a hundred naira to 150 or to 200. Well, you can see a, 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 a UBA can move from 3 naira and close the year as high as 7 to 8 naira. Mm. So when you look at all those things, you say, look, why holding this brew? Why not go here and then take it? So now, Mukta, you're a trader on the floor. So I'd, I'd actually like to know what, are we going to see similar trading patterns as yesterday, today? I mean, analysts are saying that's what we're going to see again today. What's your take? I, I think so. We'll most likely see something like that today, unless there's any major information that will shake the market and may, maybe may reverse the trend. But at the moment, I don't think there's any information because the, 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 year end, the second quarter result won't be coming in any soon. So I expect this trend to go for a little bit. But at a point, there will be a reversal when people begin to see that ah, these stocks are selling at a, at, a, at a giveaway price. They will mm. begin to come into it.